Here we are. Please have a seat anywhere you like. Man, the food better be good. Allow me to escort you to your chair, Swan. Thank you. <laughs> Blue Jay, with me. I'm sure sitting with me would be preferable than sitting with an angry raven. <laughs> Chickadee, if I may ask, why are there two empty chairs? Oh, well, uh, as I said, Dove cannot come down for dinner. That still leaves one extra chair. Well, there were supposed to be seven guests. However, Falcon could not make it tonight. He sent a message to Dove stating his absence. <laughs> He's a smart coward. A coward? How? Let's be honest here. None of us look like we're the normal sort, do we? If you are trying to imply that we're all connected to the Underworld, you are correct. Ah, uh, so that's the connection. I was under the assumption that everyone in here had riches of some sort. Ah, what the hell, man? How come I ain't heard of any of you? Because we deal in different areas of the Underworld, it would seem. Allow me to be frank, Crow, but I assume you run a companionship web. Indeed I do, Robin. And you are an informant. <laughs> what gave that away? I've slept with enough informants to know one when I hear one. Intelligent, calculating, and a little snobbish with their wisdom. So, an informant and a madame. Interesting combination. And you, Swan, are the wife of a crime lord. How did you figure that out? Your wedding ring and clothes. Gucci, correct? I recognize that dress from a private collection. Rather expensive. Keen eyes, Crow. It was a gift from my husband. Tell me, did they invite you, or your husband? Me. The host obviously knows who holds the actual reins of my husband's little business. I'm rather impressed. You run your man's company? Very efficiently, Nightingale. What of you? I don't know. I could be anyone. I could be a cop. Your cop?! <gasps> Raven, please calm down. I'm just playing. Jeez. I just run a business, I- Drugs, I assume? Yeah. What's it to you? Oh, nothing, of course. And what about you, Mr. Raven? What's your deal? He's a con man. A con man? You must be joking. This brute- Watch it! I'm not joking. He's the son of a military sergeant, so he has many connections to the branches of government. He gains their trust, swindles money, and threatens them with their lives, both physically and socially. That's smart, man. Hey, what about you, Blue Jay? What do you do? Isn't it obvious? Blue Jay is a mere underling. An underling? It would seem that Blue Jay's boss was too afraid to come on their own, so they sent their silent underling to come in case this party was more than just that. How'd you know? Oh, come now, Blue Jay. You're too quiet to be a crime lord. Your silence gave your status away. A real crime lord would be adding more to the conversation. So we got two cowards in our midst. Great. Man, you still haven't told us how they're cowards. Don't be an idiot. It's been all over the news lately. About how the cops are finding more ways to round up crime lords. Get them all together and you can end five to six businesses and anything underneath them. It's just a scare tactic to get us to overreact. Is it? The Wise and Falcon are the real Blue Jay here with us. They have reasons to hide. They must know something is up with this whole party. Raven, you're overreacting. I had this place looked into before I arrived. And Dove isn't a cop. How do you know that, might I ask? Chickadee here used to work for me. Didn't you, Chickadee? Uh, well, I... Yes, ma'am. Chickadee left my business merely a month ago. My protocol is to keep track of every person that leaves, and soon enough, she went into the employ of a foreign smuggling ring. Thanks to some whispers from my male brothel, the owner of the ring is... Dove doesn't wish to be named aloud, ma'am. I mean, Crow. And why not? We are all obviously connected to the Underground. There's no fear in releasing our actual names now, is there? If I may be so forward, I would rather remain under my alias. Makes our conversations a lot easier when no one has my name over my head. I would have to agree. My name, at least, is worth a fortune. I'll stick to being the Swan. I may hate the nickname, but I'd rather go out as some nobody named Nightingale than let my business fall. Besides, we have an underling with us. Blue Jay can easily give information back to their boss. Then why don't we silence them now? Hey! Why am I not surprised you'd use violence, Raven? Blue Jay, you may be an underling, but in this room you are a nobody like the rest of us. Understood? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Good. 
See, Blue Jay will do nothing. It's for the best, anyway. With all of us on equal ground, we can simply enjoy the night. Assuming there are enjoyments to be had besides dinner. <laughs> but what about- There are no authorities here, Raven. Why are you so up in arms about this? Man, I'd feel safer with my shank right now, though. I'm sorry I had to take everyone's weapons, but it was for the best so that no violence happened. That's such a pathetic excuse. What if Delve is a cop disguised as a smuggler, huh? What if this whole thing's a sham? Now you're just desperate. Oh, uh, dinner's ready. The best thing we can do right now is to relax and enjoy the meal prepared for us. There's no use in being riled up while eating. What? You saying that they'll ruin our stomachs or something? It would certainly ruin my appetite. Next thing you know, the food is poisoned. Man, don't start. I'm starving. It's unlikely that the food would be poisoned. Even if your theory was correct, there's no money or publicity to be gained having us all dead. The police are better off arresting us versus killing us. Besides, poisoning food is an old method of killing. I highly doubt it would be brought back for any reason. Just eat the food, Raven. There's salt on the table if you desperately want to make salt water before eating. <sighs> Dove hopes you enjoy the dishes. We have two options tonight. One dish is a Wagyu ribeye steak with a black truffle peppercorn sauce paired with green beans. The other is a truffle linguine with roasted salsify and a cauliflower custard. The linguine sounds delightful. Mm, oh, I'll have that as well. Man, I'll take the meat. Bring on that ribeye. I guess I'll go for the ribeye as well. Blue Jay, what will you have? Um, whichever works for me. Here you are. Everyone, please enjoy your meals. This is pretty good. And not poisoned, from the looks of it. Never hurts to be cautious. You are never cautious. Never too late to start. My compliments to the chef, Chickadee. And the Dove for organizing the menu. Dove will be pleased to hear that. Yeah, man. This food is great. It's a shame Dove isn't here to enjoy the meal with us. Well, Dove is very busy at the moment. Dove sends apologies to each of you. Doesn't that make Dove more suspicious? Probably wants to have more time to make themselves presentable. Proper hosting requires standards in physical appearances. Wouldn't that be irrelevant given that we're all under alias? Just because we won't be able to name them doesn't mean we won't judge them. Let him take his time, then. That means we can eat more, right? Well, I didn't have any dessert prepared, but... No dessert? Ah, oh, come on! I, I was instructed to bring everyone to the drawing room after dinner. I'm sorry. I didn't have time to think of a dessert to add. It's all right, Chickadee. Relax. Allow us to finish, and we'll follow you to the drawing room. I'm assuming Dove will be there waiting for us? Yes, Robin. There. We'll meet Dove soon enough. Now can we please get back to the meal? Uh, whatever. So, Blue Jay, how does it feel to eat with underground giants, huh? Huh? Think about it. An underling eating with the elite? In a public scenario, this would be unheard of. Man, we all start from the bottom in one way or another. I got you, Blue Jay. Not all of us. Oh, come on. You married a rich guy. He married me. I was the one with the power that he desired. And I said yes because he's a decent man. <laughs> You're lucky. Not many good men are obtainable in the world we live in. I said decent, not good. What's the difference? The bedroom? You read my mind so well. No wonder why I like you. Wait, so you married a guy who shit in the sack? Well, now my appetite's been ruined, thank you. Mine too. Well, if we're finished, then I guess we should move along to the drawing room? Is Dove here now? Well, I don't know, but... What are we waiting for? How brutish. Raven, calm yourself! Uh, sir, wait! No chance! I want to see who this Dove is! Work for me! Oh, for goodness sake. Ugh. Might as well join them. <sighs> Just there's no patience for the weak-minded. Shall we, Blue Jay? 